now. Welcome to Fox Soccer Tonight. 2007 Women's World Cup veteran Leslie Osborne. Yeah, we did talk yesterday how important it would be for Alex Morgan to have a good game and to get her the ball early. And I thought she did a really nice job reading the play. I thought Mbak and Renard gave her that space. She's wide open in the center field. She read the play. She's able to thread that ball into Rapino. I thought her movement on and off the ball was exceptional. Sometimes doing the dirty work, but reading the game. Here she has the space to hold it plays it to Tobin and gets it back eventually. But I just thought her, her movements were smart. She wasn't rattled from the physical play. Her head was in it. She was engaged. She was able to set up players. And this is when her attack is thriving, when Alex Morgan can hold the ball, lay it off, or let our midfielders run on and get the ball wide. And I thought she was fantastic today. Yeah, she's definitely the heartbeat and pulse of this team. And everyone's feeding off her energy. But I think overall, I was impressed with her on both sides of the ball. But particularly her and Dunn and what they did to that side of the field. I, I just feel like Sweden's kind of quietly working their way through this tournament, and I do think that the pressure is on Germany. And what I like about this Swedish team is they have such a strong backbone, so much leadership, so much experience, especially with Nila Fischer and Lindahl. And I think they just execute their game plan very well. They're always condensed in the back. They're always organized and disciplined, and they look to counter. And I think right now, if Aslani can find that space in that pocket and go at the back line, she's able to find a Jakobsen who's so fast on that right-hand side. I think Rolfo is playing so well, and Black Stenius is doing so, such a good job. And Aslani, if she can get the ball more, find in those pockets in the transition, Black Stenius is so dangerous. I think, I think Nikita Paris, you know, uh, for England, Ellen White has stepped up big time having five goals. But Nikita Paris is a player who was perform performing so well for club and country, just signing with Lyon before this World Cup. She's only had one goal. She's actually missed two of her last three PKs, right? Not every team can handle it. Not every person, and they can. But I think tactically, I had questions about Jill and Phil coming into this, what they were going to do. And again, Jill won. Ooh, mm -hmm. You know, yeah. she did. Ooh. She made it easier for England. I thought with a Megan Rapinoe out, obviously inserting press in and keeping Rose Lavelle in, she didn't have a good game against France. She could have pulled her out. Sam Yus is playing great. Haran comes in. And I think pressing, getting that early goal in the second half, as much as we don't love the five back, it's working. She's young and she, she works her butt off and she's got an amazing attitude too. And a lot of the U.S. people knew about her coming to this World Cup, but now people around the world know about Rose Lavelle and she has such a bright future. And I'm excited for her, Sam U.S., Abby Dahlkomber, Lindsay Horan to lead this team going forward. That's why European players come to the NWSL to yeah. learn that, see how we train day in, day out. We run instead of, you know, 120 yards, we do that extra push. It's that mentality, especially when it hurts and it gets uncomfortable mm -hmm. and the game is fast-paced. This is where the U.S. thrives, and that's why England today had no leaders step up and be able to take control of that game for yeah. them. What about Lindsay Horan? Yeah, I, you know, Lindsay Horan was big time. You know, Lindsay came into this World Cup, obviously a, a huge player for this team, but she started a couple games and also has had to come off the bench. And what I like about her is what she brings. She helps the dicta dictate the tempo of this team. She play makes, she works so hard on both sides of the ball. And here she's sitting centrally inside that channel, turns, plays an amazing, perfect ball to Alex Morgan cutting across the goal. Okay, but this team is special. They're unapologetic. They're authentic. And to be fair, I don't know if any other team could handle this, but they can. They have special leaders and special players, players that can handle this. And I think it's actually rallied them and ignited them through this World Cup. I'm pointing to the crowd who is on its feet. Yeah, McCormick's been really active in this half. I love this dummy. To find Marcus wide open like that, just a clean, right-footed shot, sees where the keeper is and just places it far post. But it's all about that dummy. To have that awareness, to be able to recognize that you have a runner coming through, Frias doing such a nice job letting that go between her legs. It's a beautiful build-up and goal. Yeah, that was yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, I think the first 10 minutes is what we can expect. Both teams were working their way into it, but I can see why this Earthquakes team is so dangerous. They're so good in the middle. They have so many creative players and out wide. They're so dangerous. And I love their center backs, how confident they are and how much they build out of the back. And this LA Galaxy team, for being so young and to have so many players playing up, for them to deal with the pressure that they've been under and the numbers, they're, they're doing a really nice job staying organized and staying, keeping numbers behind the ball. So I'm pretty impressed so far. Well, I mean, a beautiful ball in, and all she really has to do is make contact because she really isn't closely marked. And Sana Cheva showing she can score with multiple parts. So dynamic. Sees where the goalkeeper is and just places at home near post.
How sweet is that? I'm really impressed with this Earthquakes team. I think collectively they're super strong. Individually, so much talent out there all over the pitch. But I loved the Galaxy. I thought the first half they looked intimidated. They weren't doing a nice job getting numbers behind the ball. They weren't building out the attack much. And I thought their response second half, they came out with not only a little bit more belief and confidence, but also tactically, they found a way to get more numbers forward and created more chances. And for Perez to get that goal was absolutely big time. And have Irvine be involved too as a young, scrappy eighth grader, so huge.